yes boss 444 the world back here again once again dog happy to see you guys good morning hope everybody's doing well it's monday and you see the topic man once a man twice a child right if you don't know what it means let me break it down for you right once a man twice a child listen to it again so in your life i'm pretty sure you pretty pretty much heard the saying you have to crawl before you can walk walk before you can run right it's like an evolution type of thing with time right you're gonna be a baby when you're a baby you start off as a baby when you're a baby you need somebody to take care of you right when you're a teenager adult you start to find your way in life you know what i'm saying you're a man you know what i'm saying after that stage you turn elderly meaning you're like a child again you feel me you need somebody to help you and take care of you but with that saying it's so true and it's so powerful because in life we start off as a baby we grow up child teenager adult then we turn we turn elderly you get what i'm saying and I'm like, yo, when I really thought about that, I'm like, I'm not trying to, you get what I'm saying? Like, I want to be nice and living and healthy and moving freely when I get to certain ages. But when you really think about it, it's so crazy because in the evolution of time, as you grow up, one thing that's appointed unto man and that's in the Bible and that's death. You get what I'm saying? We all have a time when we come in and we have a time when we check out. But in this life that we live we're gonna endure a lot of hell a lot of pain and the things that we do in this life determines how how life can be for us you get what i'm saying despite the adversities and the obstacles that life already has placed for us when you think about it once a man twice a child when you're a child somebody takes care of you when you're an adult, you have to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then afterwards, when you're elderly, somebody takes care of you. Funny part about that, when I think about life and the times that we're in now, it's a lot of recklessness, yes. It's a lot of people living wild. But here's the thing where when I say life is like a race and you have to be careful of how you run the race, you have to be careful of the things that you do in this life because it's going to come back and haunt you. Made previous videos about all of these things, right? And future topics come in. But if you know for a fact that in life you've done things to hurt people or people might have hurt you, understand that there's a balance in life. And I'm dropping that tomorrow because I've always been saying I'm going to drop that but. I'm going to drop that tomorrow. Understand that this, in the balance of life, there's forward, backward, night, day, good, evil, right? It's just like, all right, if a person was ugly in school, and then all of a sudden as time went on, they, they, they had a major, major like change. You get what I'm saying? That's balance. You can't be ugly or the ugly duckling forever. You got to experience what it's like to be on the other side. So with the age we're living in, which is the age of revelation, age of Aquarius, however you want to call it, it's a lot of things being revealed and a lot of truths being uh, said right now. So if you think of how that plays out in life and information being coming up, uh, information being put out there, this next generation that's coming up is like i would say more into the technology but they don't really so much care so much it's like everything is fast paced kids don't really have time people don't have time you know what i'm saying so if you think how that plays out in evolution and timing when you get older if you see a lot of people are moving faster and a lot of people are moving towards the, the, the lane of we don't really care, how does that pan out for the person who treated people like BS when they get to that age of the once a man, twice a child, you're, you're in the child state now, like elderly, who's going to take care of you? You got to really sit down and ask yourself this question because 
I've heard numerous of stories about how retirement homes in certain homes are horrible and it's because people that are there that are elderly and I kind of I've been there I've done delivery routes so I've delivered food to restaurant like the actual like food to the um ingredients to like the lunching in the cafeteria part where they serve to these elderly people and you feel the like the vibe there it's like it's sad because a lot of these people they know that their time is coming but you can tell some of them don't really have people that come and see them you get what i'm saying and it's sad because of the fact that this as life goes on people develop develop like a form of like i don't care or zero tolerance lack of compassion type of mentality and it's throughout the things that they've endured in life and what life shows them so with that blending into this topic you have to think about it if everything in life is chess and you have to make your next move your best move don't make a move to cross somebody who would have helped you in in hard times or people who would have stood by at times it stood by your side in tough times when nobody wouldn't be there you kind of forfeit your hand when you do things like that i'm saying this because i know mother's day was yesterday and i didn't say anything to my mother don't have any aspirations of saying anything to her but i'm gonna be honest man and i'm going easier on my mother and Despite that it was Mother's Day, I'm going to say this on camera, right? My mother has done a lot of wicked things to me. Unfathomable things to me. Some things that is heart-wrenching. Like, like, that's why I don't have no dealings with her. But one thing I can say is this for, about my mother, dog. From everything it is that my mother has done to me, it's put me in a state where it's like, yeah i don't trust people i'm fully reliant on myself so i don't need nobody but i really look at certain things like this me learning how to cook i looked at my mom and i asked questions my mom never taught me certain things she'll give me little examples and show me little things but i did it on my own from my mom choosing to like watch me do certain things instead of showing me the right proper way it kind of forced me into being like a machine where i can know i know how to do damn near every almost anything and if i don't know how to do it i don't mind figuring out how to do it because i don't like to rely on people you get what i'm saying certain things my mom taught me about how not letting anybody have anything over you are little key things I can say my mom taught me that helped me out in my life. You get what I'm saying? When I was in second grade, I was offered to play on the chess team. Like, they randomly selected me, and I'm like, how the hell did I get picked for the chess team? Didn't want to go. My mom was like, no, take that. You get what I'm saying? Little things that I would have been rebellious towards, my mom was like, no, you're going to do that. And I appreciate that for from her. You get what I'm saying? Because me learning how to play chess, I met certain people. Like, it was a teacher named Mr. P. Who, um, he said little key things. And that's one thing I can say I learned from my parents. I ta they taught me this. If anybody has something good to tell you, take it and run with it. Don't look back. Take it and run with it. Mr. P said something that was so crucial to me, and that's how I, I, I base my life. He said, D'Angelo, if you master this game, you know how to, you mastered life. You can take this and apply it to life, and you win. When he told me that, I was a kid, and I never knew what he was talking about. But I kind of understood it, and I thank God for people like him as well. Who would have known that God could use certain people, even people who never who never had good intentions for you, to bring you to your finest moment and bring you up to where you need to be in life. You get what I'm saying? This man told me, bro, if you master this game, you mastered life. Take this and apply it to life. And I start to see it. In, in order to win in chess, you have to make good moves. You have to protect the king, make good moves. You get what I'm saying? 
and that's how you win the game. In life, it's the same thing. Make the right moves and you win the game. You get what I'm saying? That's one thing I could say, yo, that really blessed me in numerous ways. You get what I'm saying? And I really have to say this, you feel me? It's not a bashing ceremony because I've done a lot of that and it's it's not from a place of how can I say it? Wanting to do it, but to show people out there in the world that your choices has some severe consequences if you make piss poor choices. You get what I'm saying? So my mom wanting to bully me in certain things like that, it put me in a state where I don't I never had a lot of friends, so it's like I never realized certain people that I was around. They weren't around me for my best interest. It's because those are the only people I had as choices at the time or who I selected based on, you get what I'm saying, upbringing and certain shit. You feel me? But I can honestly say that a lot of the things that was done to hurt me, God turned it around and made it something where it benefited me. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. You get what I'm saying? I know how to get up and work and I don't have to ask nobody for a dollar. You get what I'm saying? Certain instances where I really needed money and these these are things where I said I don't really rock with my mom and it leaves a bittersweet taste in my mouth. And I never said this in um, any of my other videos but this is some real ass shit. And if you ever see me, right, my tattoos and you see like a little needle or little hole i'ma explain little things to you all right this is why i'm a stubborn person and i'm not gonna lie about that you feel me certain times in my life where as i stated my mom was telling me life hard rent due rent bills killing her and she owned the house and she never had to take certain amount of money from me i used to try and figure out how can i make extra money in certain kind of ways right so through somebody who I used to be friends with, he told me about how he used to donate plasma, right? And I used to donate plasma. And me being stubborn, I'd never want to ask my mom or anybody for money because I'd already know that if I ask them for anything, they're going to come with certain talks and putting me down and what are you doing with your money? When it's like, dog, you bitch and complain about how life hard and bills, this, that, and the third. And little do I know to my benounce that you own this house, you're pocketing my money, and I don't have nothing to show for it. And you still put me down in certain kinds of ways. My mom would ask me, yo, could you go to the bank and withdraw certain money for me, this, that, and the third. And someone would be like, look in her account, and I see a couple thousand dollars as well, but you screaming how you don't have no money. And it's like, when I used to hide donating plasma, dog, I used to hate that shit, bro. Sometimes sitting and standing up in that long ass friggin' line and it's like, dog, I felt so low, bro. Like, I don't like doing certain shit, you feel me? And it's like, to keep from having to do anything too wild or outlandish, I do certain shit like that. But at the end of the day, I did not like it. One day, my mom saw me with the bandages and was like, oh, what is it like why your, your arm bad i don't want to talk about it because i already know it's going to be a bashing and this that and the third and hear her come with the drama oh look at what america done to my child my child out here having to donate plasma just to make money and life so hard bitch you had money you have money that belongs to me money that belongs to me dog that my father left for me dog you get what i'm saying in certain things I was left to me and my mom didn't even think about you know what dog certain games that I'm playing with Damar is sick and Damar making sure that I'm straight Catherine Kiba nor drum wouldn't give a fuck to spit in my direction but I'm disrespecting him and I'm taking away certain things from him right dog it got to the point where it's like God put certain people along your path and it shows you certain things you feel me while I was donating plasma, there was this girl that I met named Brianna. Sweet girl, dog. You feel me? This girl said to me, yo, certain things that you're doing, and she didn't hear my story. She don't even know my problems, certain certain things like that. But little things that she, she'll tell me was like little confidence builders. Like, 
for me to like believe in myself and do things more for myself. And it's like, I really start to see it that as certain things she'll tell me, it really started to open my eyes to, to about how like people in your own family really wouldn't give a damn about you. And I was just soaking on the fact that dog, I couldn't believe it that it was my own fucking mother doing this to me, dog. You get what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, I thank God in, in multiple ways because it's like, where would we be in life if it wasn't for a next person to come and open our eyes to something that we could not see? You feel me? And it kind of sucks because it's like, dog, that was a sweet girl. And I wish, dog, like I was like, you feel me? Whatever's meant to be, dog, like it'll come back to you. You feel me? But it's like, I wasn't prepared for a girl like that. That was a sweet girl. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm going to be honest, dog. I thank God for certain life lessons because it opened my eyes up to seeing that if you stay boxed in to what you know or what you're groomed to knowing, you're bound to lose because you're made to expand and grow. If you don't expand and grow, you're gonna lose in life. If I never made and took certain risks in life to go out there and venture out like me trying to get an apartment out there and certain things, I would have never known what life really was. And the sad, sad, sick part about it is my mom wanted me to be a sucker and a dummy. So everything in life, I would lose and it would be her wins. You get what I'm saying? Show you how life is so amazing and God, Yahweh is so real, right? Every time I ask for an answer, I get it in a certain kind of way. If I don't get it through music, I get it through a real life demonstration. Listen to what I'm telling you. And this will burn me in my heart, dog. You feel me why I said I do not talk to my mother? People know, don't tell me. Go have a conversation with your mom because you probably gonna, I'm probably gonna look at you like you stupid, especially if you know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? If you watch my videos, you know about this guy I tell you about at my job name, Archie, right? Archie was rambling one day about, he used to make these little things like, oh, I used to be light skin, I used to this, I used to have good hair, bum, 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 right? And he showed me his uncle, his uncle is like a crossing guard, his uncle light skin, like he showed me his dad side of the family, right? And it's like, I'm looking at his father's side of the family. Everybody's light skin and his mother's like dark skin. You feel me? I was like, okay, it is what it is. But something stuck out to me. He was talking in the truck and he was like, all I can tell you is like my life kind of like changed a certain kind of way. So something was like, take the headphones off because he'd be rambling. But sometimes he say certain stuff and something was like, take your headphones off. So I took it, I, I like slid it off of my ears like this, moved it to the side. And he was like, I, I, I remember my mom, like she took my hair, she cut my hair, she kept it in a box. So something in my mind, like my eyes lit up because it was like a flashback moment for me, right? So something was like, listen, he was like, my mom put my hair in a box and she showed it to me. And then she like gave it to my grandmother and it's like something like she was like ever since then I don't know what happened to my hair it's like um like my skin certain things start changing like a lot of things you get what I'm saying so I'm like I start listening even more he was like yeah you know like my life like life going good and certain stuff like that but you know, I'm still doing my thing. And I look at Archie and I look at his mom. He goes by his mom. His mom treats him like a footstool. His mom walks all over him. She disrespects the fuck out of him, right? Treats him like a straight up bitch, like straight up. And I'm like, dog, oh my God. Everything that Archie said, and he says little things like, oh, his mom's birthday is this and his sister's birthday is that. And I start paying attention. His story sounds a lot like what mine's would have been if God wasn't involved. You feel me? His mom, like, I look at his mom. She looks like hell, bro. Doesn't give a damn. His sister, 
reminds me of my sister. Reckless, doesn't give a damn, wants freedom, just wants everything handed to her, right? And I'm like, dog, God is amazing, bruh. Look at this man's life. This man don't have no hair. Everybody disrespects him and talks down on him like straight walks over him. No respect. And it's like his mom played a hand in that, bro. And I'm not gunning for nobody. You get what I'm saying? But it starts in the home. Nobody can not at me about that. A child will turn out a certain kind of way depending on their environment and what goes on behind closed doors in the home. I don't know exactly what was going on fully in details in this house, but I know what was going on in mine. When I look at this man and his mom walk all over him and he always there for his mom despite the, despite the disrespect, I was like, dog. If I would have never removed myself from certain situations, I would have been like him times 10, dog. Bitter and, and, and this, you get what I'm saying? But God got a written plan for everybody. You feel me? That wasn't meant for me. Show you how life's so funny, right? My mom did all of this extra ranting and raving about, oh, Damar is causing commotion. Show you how you're so stupid, right? And it's not no disrespect because you're older than me. It's because of the fact that I hate when people play on my intelligence like I'm a friggin' idiot, right? So I'm going to show you right now that I'm not a dumbass. On all of my videos, I talk about how my mom had like a life insurance on me. My mom was playing these little stupid games about how, oh, I don't have nothing on you, right? So tell me why, right here, you see the big AIG on the front, right? AIG wrote me, right? Dear D'Angelo, uh, blah, 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 blah. We are in correspondence regarding your policy to reach you at a current place of residence. Uh, we are committed to preventing fraudulent activities on behalf of our customer service. Uh, that's why we are mailing you. Please reach out to us. Um, and they have a phone number on here and a whole bunch of extra writings, right? For anybody in my family or anybody on here who thinks I'm cat, why in the hell would this magically come to my house if I've never had one come to my house before and I never put a life insurance policy on myself? You get what I'm saying? This is the shit that I'm talking about. When you play stupid games, you're going to win a stupid prize. Once a man, twice a child. My mom knows that if something happens to her, I'm not helping her with anything. That's just the karma for you. My mom used to tell me little things like when I was big, oh, when you, you, you see you, 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 you just I get big and swell up, I'm going, I, I'm going to leave you in the hospital, watch you. I never did anything to you but help you, but certain things would take away my stress and pain by just eating, but I never really paid attention to how it would hurt me. I went from 325, bro, 300 something pounds to being 225 right now, and I'm still getting smaller, dog. Let me tell you something in life, bro. In life, make good decisions. You're a parent. You're a person. If you're a person and you're not a parent yet, remember this, dog. When you become a parent, be careful of how you treat your children, dog. Your children, if your children turn around and disrespect you, it's because of the, probably the things that you've done to them or they're just some badass friggin' kids. You get what I'm saying? But people have their own motives for the reasons that they do things. I never asked to be put here into this world. No person yet is asked to be put here into this world. But we're here. You get what I'm saying? Make good choices in life, dog. Everybody needs somebody in this lifetime, bro. Everybody needs somebody, dog. But at the end of the day, make sure you make good decisions so when times get rough, you will have somebody by your side, dog. Be honest with you, bro. I don't really trust nobody, dog. That's why I don't hang around people like that. Nobody don't see me. People be calling my phone like, mom, like I had somebody just invite me out just last night. I would have went because we're, we're cool like that. And I'm like, that's my mentor. I don't mind going around. But it's like, I was so tired. I was like, dog, I really see it, dog. I don't mind staying to myself now. That's like an art. People really don't know how to master, dog. Maxine, thank you for that. You get what I'm saying? Bro, when you go through so much in life, it puts you in a state where it's like you either fend for yourself or you fall for the BS. 
you go along with the crowd or you stay away from the crowd you get what i'm saying the choice is yours but remember this in life once a man twice a child when you're a baby you need somebody to take care of you when you're an adult you gotta stand up on your own too but when you become an elderly person of age and you need somebody you're gonna need somebody there by your side i've seen it firsthand when somebody's a loving parent what their kids turn around and do for them bro a truly loving parent that show them tough love and real love you feel me when you give them that balance bro i seen people take care of their parents like they were king and queens like royalty bro from what they did for them in their life bro but my mom dog sad day bro if something happened to you i'm not gonna be by your side dog that's just facts and you want to know what the good part about it is because i don't feel no remorse or no guilt on the inside i've been slaving and i've been under hell fire and pressure since i was a kid bro in elementary dog name a 10 11 year old that's gonna pick up and do construction work in the summers dog faithfully hustling in school and giving money to my mom doing it consistently being there day in day out for my mother on different things and i get the shitty end of the stick it would have been like that till the day that god would have came for the earth bro and my mom don't give a fuck about me dog you get what i'm saying that's why i develop a zero tolerance for certain kind of people and that's something that i'm working on but at the same time speaking on these videos and helping people i i generally love to help people but me having a good heart put me in messed up predicaments you get what i'm saying not everybody knows how to find a balance between certain situations so you can walk that straight line so you don't get finessed or or get screwed over you get what i'm saying but that's why i'm here to help you guys and to let you know this you feel me despite whatever it is that you go through in life make sure you keep your head up bro keep your head up and hold your head up high bro when i was in school i used to walk around my head down bro you want to know so crazy there was a girl that I, uh, I remember from school days you know how this girl said she remember me d'angelo was quiet in school but he, uh, he always used to walk with his head down you get what i'm saying people see things bro but they don't know the underlying story dog and that's from things that i went through with my mother dog but i could say shit like free at last for real dog i got freedom like that's why i said i really don't care. i live my life i want to bro like i drop tattoos on my body bro because it's like something that is like a big expression for me that i got so much more tattoo work coming out it's like it's not even funny bro it's like that's my former expression my love like you get what i'm saying bro do what you can in life to make sure that you end up with the best results and that's by rolling the dice the right way bro because when you get to that time when you need somebody by your side dog based on the works that you put out and who you are as a person that's gonna say it all for you you feel me with that being said dog like comment subscribe it's your boy 444 the world words can help you they can hurt you but here on my channel i use them to uplift you because everybody on here is a champion you get what i'm saying words can help you for real <laughs> the words i spoke today ain't help a couple people you know who you are, Maxine and Company. Love you guys, hope.